Welcome. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you how we move from analysis to a market position with our money management service. If I go too fast or you get lost on the way, just click on the video and back it up a bit and listen again. My email will be provided at the end if you would like to discuss this service with us. We use a structure called composites. Composites are a group of signals that work a lot like a well-managed committee. Using the committee analogy, I'm going to walk through the orchestration process of how our committees come to a decision. In this analogy, our signal has 17 committee members that meet every morning to decide what the market position should be for the next day. I'm going to use a normal business office to paint a picture of how we make decisions on a daily market position for our money management service. Every morning, around 8 a.m., all the experts arrive and go to their cubicles to download the market data from the previous day. They each run their own analysis based on their area of expertise. The methodologies we utilize may be grouped into four distinct disciplines. Sentiment, trend, seasonal, and momentum. Committees can be overwhelming when they get too big, so we divide our experts into two different committees. One committee has eight members and the other has nine. Each committee has representation from all four disciplines. These committees meet every single morning before the market day closes to individually present their findings to me. As the manager, I enter the first committee meeting room and call the meeting to order. I sit down and ask each of the eight experts one question. Is the market going up or down tomorrow? They are only allowed to give me a one-word answer. They get to choose from up, down, or unsure. Each of their answers is given a predefined numeric weighting. This weighting of an individual expert's opinion is based on their historical tendency to be right. I write down each expert's opinion and I thank them for their input. They are then done with their work and have the rest of the day off. Before they leave, I remind them that I expect to see them back in the office tomorrow morning to do this all over again. We do this every single market day. I return to my office and add up the values assigned by each individual expert and compare it to a decision chart to see if the numeric value of their decision that day reaches a trigger point used to determine either a long or short consensus. I note the decision made by the first committee on my board and move on to the second committee. I then enter the conference room where the experts from the second committee are waiting. There are nine experts here in this room and we go through the exact same procedure. I sit down and ask each of the nine experts the same question. Is the market going up or down tomorrow? They are under the same restrictions as the previous committee and are allowed to give me only one of the three one-word answers, up, down, or unsure. I return to my office and run through the same process as before and note the consensus decision of the second committee on the same whiteboard in my office. Now I have to bring the two committee's decisions to a market position. This is done by looking at whether the two committees agree or disagree. This is my decision matrix and how the two opinions roll up first to a consensus. Then I plot them side by side to see if they agree or disagree. If they both agreed on a green long decision, I take that long position in an index based mutual fund, in this case the NASDAQ 100. If the two committees are in disagreement, then I take a cash position. Historically, we are in cash about 20% of the time. If they both agreed on red short position, I take that short position in an indexed mutual fund that is inverse the market. These types of mutual funds go up in price as the market goes down. They are referred to as inverse funds. I use inverse funds because the market moves both up and down and we believe that you need to be able to manage as profitably in a down market as you do in an up market. After all, you wouldn't consider buying a car that only went forward and didn't have a reverse gear. You must be prepared for market downturns by ensuring your strategies are capable of not only surviving but even prospering in these markets. That's how a decision on a daily market position is made. We go through this procedure mechanically with computers every single day. The experts depicted here are actually different signal algorithms that we update daily. We believe that every day the market presents little hints about what it's likely to do tomorrow. We listen carefully and act accordingly. Think about that. When was the last time you or someone you have hired spent that much time every single day making sure your money was in the best market position based on the opinion of 17 diverse expert systems to make the most money it could tomorrow? That's what we do and we do it every single day. I hope you found this helpful and informative and that this analogy removes some of the mystery of what we do. Here's my email address. Please feel free to contact me.